lot of activity by the governments around the world to, to support the airlines uh, with general packages and with financial packages. A lot of airlines, you know, maybe, you know, would have gone uh, into bankruptcy, uh, and, but they have avoided it because of these government support packages. Uh, but that, that doesn't mean they won't go bankrupt later. Um, it, 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 in some cases, I think, you know, the, you know, it could just delay the, the delay the bankruptcy because um, it, the, this crisis is going to be so long, it's also going to change the industry permanently, that some of these airlines that might have gotten this government support, they, they'll have to go back to the government, you know, next year or the year after. And, and it, it's, it's not, you know, it, you can't assume that all the governments will give them a second bailout or a second, you know, package. So there's a lot of, um, there's still going to be more bankruptcies to come is the, the answer, but I think it's going to be like staggered, you know, maybe a few here, a few there. It's not going to be like a huge mass number in one period. And I should point out that just because an airline goes bankrupt during a demonstration doesn't mean they collapse entirely. So, um, a lot of airlines, that when they go into bankruptcy, you know, even during normal times, they emerge. Um, you know, make it smaller, leaner, they, they, they get protection in the meantime, so they can cancel the contracts they don't want, they don't want. It allows bankruptcy in a lot of countries, allows airlines to restructure uh, under protection, um, you know, so it's easier to restructure than, say, not going into bankruptcy. Again, important to point out that, you know, airlines don't always collapse entirely. Some, some, some inevitably will go into bankruptcy and be liquidated and collapse. Uh, some won't. It depends because some airlines have a stronger position than others. Uh, and airlines like say number three in a market rather you know than number two or number one but that, that that's um, you know that's a big difference because they they might not be as marketable from an uh, investment community standpoint. The reality is, is that um, there's a lot of activity right now, uh, you know, with between with, with governments and with stakeholders, with airline associations and tourism associations to try to set some kind of standard. Because um, because um, so far, like different countries are doing certain things for now, but there's no kind of uniform standard when it comes to things like uh, you know uh, social uh, distancing on the airplanes. Uh, yeah, the airport environment as well. What's happening from a regulatory perspective? Um, what's happening from a regulatory perspective, I'd say, is temporary for now, and I'm hoping that it will uh, that you know these non you know this unstandardized environment that we now see and uncertainty and speculation. Eventually, this will get settled, and and will come to a new norm.